Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to this uh, evening event. And this is the uh, part of the 75th anniversary celebration of Oklarim. And uh, we would like to express our heartfelt thanks to this foundation for the gracious welcome for our exhibition here. Really, thank you. So I am Padre Leonard, and uh, I am the editor for English section of Oklarim, and I am the moderator for this evening's presentation. So this is the second part of the two parts. The first part was presented by Oswald on uh, photojournalism. Our speaker this evening is one of the pillars of Oklarim. He worked for close to 20 years already and is one of the distinguished journalists in Macau. He is presently the editor of the Portuguese section. He is a very hardworking man and is responsible for linking Oklarim with many famous media organizations in the world, making Oklarim the window of the Catholic Diocese of Macau to the world. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a bit of background for this evening's topic, freedom in the religion press. The media offer important benefits and advantages from religious perspective. They carry news and information about religious events, ideas, and personalities. They serve as vehicle for evangelization and catechesis. But what is the place of freedom in this endeavor? in this work or in this uh, uh, mission. So our speaker will present this evening a rather hot issue, freedom in the religious press. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend, Jose Miguel. <clears throat> thank you so much, Father Leonard. Um, thank you for, all, for coming here and stay with us. Uh, I will uh, read uh, a paper. Um, I have to be very um, clearly about this. This paper was prepared in 2019 to be presented in Rome uh, in uh, University Santa Croce. But unfortunately, because of the COVID, they cancelled the seminar. And I kept this paper and I said, maybe one day I will read this again and re-edit re this and I will present in, in an event. Never happened, now we are here. Uh, of course, I, have, I, I had to readjust some parts, but I think you, it's still very, um, um, it's on time mm -hmm. because this is all, always a, a, a very important theme and never, never hands. So, inspiring. What inspires us? And what I want to ask you is, why, when you see two or three newspapers on a, taper, a table, or when you are making zapping in, uh, at your home, or you are listening uh, radio, why do you choose one newspaper uh, instead of other, or a TV channel, or a radio instead of other. Uh, what's what's the, the main reason to choose one channel and not other channel when you want to be informed about news, mainly news? And I want you, I want to ask you that. What is the reason? What is your um, What's the reason, what makes you uh, choose CNN or, and not Fox, or choose Fox and not CNN? Can you tell me? Yeah, go ahead, please. I don't choose Fox News. When I'm choosing the, the, the channels, TV channels, I don't choose Fox News. I try BBC <coughs> or... And why? Because uh, Fox News uh, exists to convey a certain, uh, a, a certain perspective of reality, mm. Mm. which is not mine. Oh, yes. Mm. 
Anyone else? Independence. Independence on the information. So, a third opinion. We are mm. okay. So, I can combine all that in one word. <coughs> trust. Trust. You have to trust when you are listening a radio or when you are reading a newspaper or watching a TV. You have to trust to the ones who are giving you the information. So, how can we make others trust on us? In other words, how can we make others trust in our work as an information source? Is Catholic press immune to fake news or immune to economic interests? We cannot answer to these questions if we cannot answer to a simple one. How free are we? If we are free to, to work, we are free to give you uh, accurate information. We are not, if we are not free, we cannot give you an accurate and real information. As I explained six years ago on the 11th professional seminar for church, church communications offices held by the Pontificia Universita de la Santa Croce in Rome, the Macau Diocese found a way to avoid pressures from the Macau government. The result is a high level of freedom, and that allows the Macau Catholic media to work without limitations. Our main purpose is to inform the readers about church activity in Macau, in Asia, in, and in the rest of the world, and spread the Catholic Church religious and social doctrine. If we resume our work on these goals, there is no chance to publish fake news. Facts are facts and rumors do not fit in our activity as an information source. Why and how a small city as Macau can be a Catholic media hub for countries like United States, Portugal, and Brazil? And the answer is here. In February 2017, in February 2017, the Macau's Catholic newspaper, O Clarín, there at the top, was invited to collaborate with the Portuguese national, national section of the Aid to the Church in Need Foundation. Somewhere it's there. In a weekly basis, ACN at the right, I cannot see very well from here. Ah, it's there. In a weekly basis, ACN is producing a TV and radio program called Igreja no Mundo Magazine, Church in the World Magazine in English, that is mainly focused on the pursuit of Christians and on the Catholic Church activities around, around the world. Through Macau, the ACN can inform TV viewers and radio listeners about what's going on in Macau, Hong Kong, China, and in the neighbor countries. Nowadays, the Church in the World magazine is broadcast in Portugal, Mozambique, Angola, Cabo Verde, São Tomé e Príncipe, Guiné-Bissau. The magazine is produced by three entities, ACN Foundation, that, that one, Portuguese Community of Canção Nova, the blue one on the right, It's a Brazilian Catholic media group and Catholic radio and television network, CRTN, there. On 1st of July, 2019, EWTN, here, 
has started to broadcast the EWTN Asia Pacific channel in Macau through the Macau Cable TV. It's the channel 28. Becoming the first TV Catholic channel to be broadcast in the Chinese city. We also produce and share local content with EWTN and ACI Digital. ACI Digital ACI Digital, it's the Portuguese language agency of Catholic News Agency it, that belongs to EWTN. So this, this one is the Portuguese agency, it's the Portuguese delegation that belongs to Catholic News Agency and, and this CNA belongs to EWTN. EWTN is based in Alabama, uh, I've been there already and is the biggest Catholic media group in the world. Was founded by Mother um, Angelica. And uh, they don't have advertising. They just receive donations. And uh, they just broadcast in Macau because they receive donations for that. In August 2019, the Macau's Catholic weekly newspaper, O Clarim, has started to collaborate with Canção Nova Brasil, that owns the Canção Nova in Portugal. Every Friday morning, every Friday morning, around 15 million TV viewers are informed about the latest news in Macau, Hong Kong, China, Southeast Asia, and Middle East. Now, I, here I have to, to stop and just tell you this. Every time I, I start the videos that I send to Canção Nova, I always say, Bom dia, Brazil. Then I start to talk about the subject. And as I told you, it, it, on that time, 15 million people are watching the, the channel. And they, they told me the other day, sometimes people uh, call to the, um, to the studio asking, Who, who's that guy that, that lives in China that says, Bom dia, Brazil? And they, and they told me already, I, I've been already there in, in Sao Paulo, in their studios. And, and they, they told me, hey, Jose, uh, you will see when you, when you walk on, on the street, uh, people will, will say, Bom dia, Brazil. <laughs> so I have, to, I have to, to try and to see if, if that's, that's true or not. How this network from Macau is important to guarantee to the readers, listeners, and viewers that the news related to Macau, Hong Kong, China, Southeast Asia, and Middle East are true. The best way to answer to this question is giving two examples. On 1st of November 2019, the Macau's Catholic Weekly newspaper, O Clarín, produced the content about the Pope's trip to Thailand and Japan based on the website vaticannews.va to be broadcast by ACN Foundation. There. One week later, on 8th of November, the same content was re-edited and published on O Clarín and broadcasted by Canção Nova Brazil. The same content. While the newspaper edition only had focused on the Pope's agenda, the content for the Church in the World News, produced by ACN Foundation, also referred to the historical pre presence of the Portuguese miss missionaries in Thailand and how that political heritage is still important for Portugal. However, the version for Canção Nova Brazil were more focused on the number of Catholics in both countries and their religious freedom. Just a note, during the Pope's trip to Thailand and Japan, Japan, Uclarin published several articles written by the reporter Marco Carvalho in Bangkok, Tokyo and Nagasaki. 
Other example is about the replacement of Pope Francis portraits and religious images and paintings by President Xi Jinping portraits and Communist Party slogans in some churches located in mainland China. A hot issue, a hot subject. The version made for ASEAN Foundation, edited on 4th of December, is very similar to the version of Canção Nova Brasil, edited on 6th of December. But there is an important difference between them. The first one was produced focusing political aspects, and the second one focusing social aspects. Both were produced based on information provided by Bitter Winter, a magazine on religious liberty and human rights in China, an online publication registered in Turin, in Italy. So what I mean is the same content we um, edit according to the country and to the media where the, 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 it will be broadcast of course. And if we analyze these two examples, we find common points. First, a dictatorial freedom to publish and broadcast news about Catholic Church in mainland China and neighbor countries. Second, free access to online sources as Vatican News and Bitter Winter and all websites and software applications regardless of its origin. Third, freedom to establish partnerships with media groups with the intention of sharing contents and producing accurate information. Fourth, freedom to cover religious events inside and outside Macau and Hong Kong, exclu excluding mainland China, where authorities still control access to priests and faithful. Fifth, freedom to give different perspectives on the same subjects according to the origin, and expectations of readers, listeners, and viewers. Conclusion. Press freedom is the most important value to guarantee an independent and accurate journalistic activity. Otherwise, it's easy to corrupt edit, direct, directors, editors, and journalists and make them publish non-accurate news or fake news. The purpose is always the same. Promote obscure interests of politicians, businessmen, and fundamentalist religious leaders. As you see, at least the Macau Catholic Press enjoys a high level of freedom to produce, publish, and broadcast contents without limitations, which gives a guarantee that the news produced in Macau, based on recognized international sources, private sources, and public sources, are accurate. Freedom is like a wine filter, because a little dirt is enough to change its flavor. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Miguel. Thank you very much. Very enlightening. Now, we may now ask our audience if you have some questions or reflections on what was just uh, presented. You may raise your hands, and we will entertain you. I just suggest we, I suggest we have a, a, a talk, yeah, a yeah, dialogue. Yeah. dialogue not, yeah. mm. Uh, is there a, a central agent, news agency in Vatican, for instance, that uh, gather all the religious, Catholic religious information and then spread between all those smaller <laughs> agencies? Uh, the Vatican has the Vatican has the dicastery of communications. The dicasteries are the ministries. Is is like. Um, they have the dicastery for uh, communication, uh, priests, bishops, um, uh, doctrine. Mm. Uh, so they, they, it's like the ministry of, of the Holy See. They call it dicaster, dicastery. And there is one, is the, the communication one. Nowadays, they uh, manage all the communication of the Holy See. Before, because you have the L'Osservatorio Romano, the, the Catholic newspaper, the official newspaper of the Holy See. That's then the Vatican Radio, the Vatican TV, 
and they were they were managed before they were managed by different uh, entities. Now they combine uh, all. They they now they they put all together and they are managed by just one uh, body. And but that are the official uh, media of the Holy See of the Vatican. Okay. Then there are. Um, some um, organizations like ACN. Mm. ACN, it's 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 uh, it's funny because the foundation is known by ACN all over the world. Uh, the only exception is Portugal, where it's known by AIS. So is Fundação Ajuda a Igreja que Sofre. And ACN is aid for the church in need. But even in Brazil, they say ACN, even in Brazil. Portugal is the only place where they say A A A I S. But the ACN, for example, was founded in Germany. And the historical headquarter still uh, is in Germany. But nowadays, the operation is all in, in the Holy See, the, in the Vatican. And is is a private uh, ONG, ONGO, but it grows so much that nowadays is a pontifical foundation, so it's under the Pope's uh, rule. Um, but it's still uh, not official Holy See um, foundation. But of course, like EWTN, EWTN is private, it's 100% private. But the, the, the headquarter is in, at the United States, in Alabama, but the headquarter in Europe is in the, in the Holy See. Why? Because e everyone um, has that expectation that one day they will have an office uh, in, 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 at the Holy See. Maybe one day Clarine will have also yes, an maybe office someday. at the Holy See. Yes, yeah, someday. <laughs> so, what I want to, to tell you is uh, the Holy See has their own uh, official media, but then they also they, they are an umbrella for all these uh, media, uh, Catholic media around the world. For example, Casanova is Brazilian. The headquarter is, is the studios are in, in Sao Paulo, but the headquarter is in a, a place called Cachoeira Paulista. It's, uh, it's uh, right in the middle of the distance between Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. So people sometimes drive from Sao Paulo, they stop in Cachoeira Paulista, they, will, they visit the sanctuary, the studios, then they keep going to, to Rio de Janeiro. But they also have a, a big office in, 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 in the Holy See. So everyone expects to, to have an office there. Because it's more easy, they are more close to the to the Vatican activity. That's I don't know if I if I answer to to your question. I also would like to know if that um, the Casterium uh, has some kind of rules that uh, are um, for all of the smaller agencies, and if they have uh, editorial responsibility, or if the smaller ones are totally autonomous to produce news. No, they are autonomous, mm. of course, but they all, uh, but the sources are all, all the same. Mm. So Wednesday morning, Pope has the public audience, so they all go there. Um, then there, there is the, the press room, uh, what they call the Sala de Imprensa, the press room of the Vatican. Who, that's the place where they um, produce all, all the all the the work. And they give to the to the journalists, and the press releases and the communications, all, all of that. So the the sources, the, that's why they combine all in one in one place because now the the Holy See knows very well uh, what the information goes outside. Before they cannot control so well as nowadays, but now they, they can control everything because it's all under one, one, one body. So it's not, it's not easy to, to, to create facts. You didn't mention Timor because you forgot it? or <laughs> Because, because, 
because uh, I don't know. Let me see. Is, it doesn't belong to the net. No, no uh, the broadcast. No. Um, no, no, no. Because what happened is the um, ACN Portugal. They they broadcast to Portugal by Canção Nova uh, uh, Portugal. And then they have other um, other partnerships with uh, TVs and, and radios in these countries, but not yet in Timor. No, not yet. No, not yet, not yet. But of course, if, if someone in Timor wants to, to, to see what they are producing, it's easy because they can go to YouTube or they can, they can, they can go to other uh, social uh, <coughs> network and, and they, they can... They can Access to all, all of that. I, I can, I can, uh, Father. So, first of all, Jose Miguel, congratulations on your work. Uh, there are a lot of people in the church, they are always waiting for Clarin. When you publish, people are so happy for that. So if I'm not wrong, the tradition of Oclarin, you have been printing this new paper for 75 years. This is the oldest Portuguese newspaper here in Macau, so it's a long journey. I believe that this printed newspaper is already stable, and now you have the online version. So do you have any feedback of this online version? People are searching, they message you, because the printed one, I think, is already stable. But how about the online version? Because I believe the future will be, although we like paper, but I believe that paper will be less and less, and online maybe will have more. So what is the impact of the online newspaper? Is there any project for the future, for the future on this field? Yeah. Nowadays, we... Nowadays we, we are we, we have Shana there. Shana is our secretary in our press room, and she's the one who, who deals with that. And then we have another 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 um, person that makes for um, Instagram. Instagram, okay. We have one 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 person that manages the Instagram, and then Shana manages the Facebook and 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 the website and and the numbers says that. We have lots of viewers in, in that kind of application. Um, and they are, the number is, is, is becoming huge, comparing to the uh, press uh, edition, the printing uh, edition. Uh, but I think that that's, we cannot do anything, uh, because there is no, no chance to, to grow, or in, uh, to make the number of, of um, buyers and, and, and readers on paper grow in Macau. It's impossible to make it because we, the, our community, the Portuguese community, is, is decreased is during the COVID. And, uh, and nowadays, people can access uh, through the internet. But our point is not uh, Macau uh, nowadays because in Macau, the, 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 our market is, is this one. So. Our point now is to reach um, people all over the world, and we we are we are doing that. the The numbers increased a lot in the, in the last in the last uh, year, mainly in the last year, when we start with the Instagram. Yeah. Instagram is is, is a, su a success yeah. for us. It's 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 huge. The 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 number of people that every month um, new people um, access to our Instagram, and then the Facebook is the, the same. The Facebook the same, and it's and it's 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 very it's very curious because, for example, we sometimes we publish um, uh, entire page about uh, only one subject. Something happened, and we we write one entire page about something, and then we make uh, and then we we have uh, other pages that we just write like two or three paragraphs. Then we put lots of of image about a uh, procession or about uh, uh, some religious activity like uh, um, com uh, First Communion the, or Eucharistic or the um, Krishna. 
the confirmation, also. and that news are, are the ones who, uh, that have more uh, people uh, seeing, uh, looking for and, and reading. When you and you see the numbers, people they they don't want any more uh, a big amount of, of words and a large amount uh, of of uh, content. People want to read the message like in three three minutes and and see the photos. That's what people want. That's what people want because people don't have time to to read a, a very big articles. And they, and and sometimes it's difficult because you have so much to to say, and how how can you reduce all the information in three paragraphs? But nowadays that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we try also our best to really innovate and try to reach out the young people of today. You know, they are very much in into the digital world. So we have to use this so that uh, we can also convey our message. And during the uh, pandemic, pandemic years, it was our, our chance to reach out to them because we have nothing to do. And they survey the online, uh, the online materials and they discovered us. And this is the reason why recently we, we, we were surprised that Oclarim Online, the Portuguese edition, has reached out as far as Africa, the Portuguese-speaking Africans, and the other areas of the world that speaks Portuguese. And that is also true with the English edition. We uh, have reached out Singapore, Taiwan, and even some, some um, nearer countries. And uh, we have to utilize really other digital materials so that we can continue to entice them to uh, avail with uh, the information that we're trying to update the world. Any other sharing? Mm. We have here some journalists. Paul, <coughs> Federico. Just uh, one question. Uh, what about the, uh, your communication with the, the Chinese reading uh, audience? We have the Chinese yes. uh, section. Mm. Uh, actually, we, we, we don't have here Jasmine Yu with, with us. She's the editor for the Chinese section. And nowadays, of course, is, is the, um, the section uh, is the one that we make more copies, and the the difference or the the number is uh, is a big gap. Yeah, between the it's bigger. The, the 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 Portuguese one is, is the one the Portuguese one nowadays is is the the section with less mm. uh, copies, uh, and then the the English one lesser 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 than Portuguese one. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, okay. That's not. That's not so bad. <laughs> I'm joking with you. <laughs> no, but but then the Chinese one, the the number is like uh, three times or four times mm. more than the Portuguese, and and we 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 sell the the newspaper uh, the three sections uh, all together. So when you see the newspaper uh, at the streets, you, you you'll see the the first page is the Portuguese session, but then uh, inside uh, there is the Chinese session section. Uh, because the English section is online, Monthly. online, mm -hmm. but then uh, the on the last Friday of every uh, month we also print in in English, so people can buy uh, Portuguese and then inside is the Chinese and then inside the Chinese is the English one, uh, but but there are lots of people that only um, wants the the Chinese uh, or or the English. So we, we sell the three together or two together, but then the, for the sub, for subscription, the, so for the people that, that make the subscription of the newspaper, they, we just send the, the language they want. And what we see is that the, the Chinese is, is huge, the number of people that read the, the Chinese uh, query, you can say like that. Yeah. But for example, for Hong Kong, we just send the English and, and the Chinese. Chinese. And Portuguese is sent by PDF. Yeah. yeah. 
just to add on what you were saying, uh, uh, Jasmine um, was t telling telling me once that uh, in mainland China, a lot of um, this Catholic um, re um, press uh, media that's there, they they follow a lot to uh, the Chinese section as well, and many times they copy um, the news that we publish, and they just copy paste onto their website as well. And so there are many uh, readers in mainland China as well the, uh, that follows Oklari news. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And sometimes, for example, uh, we, we send the, the newspaper to Nigeria, something amazing uh, in Nigeria. Someone uh, asked to, to, to subscribe the newspaper. Uh, we sent for Brazil, uh, United States, in Europe, several countries. Africa, uh, of course, the Portuguese language countries, but also <coughs> some countries like sometimes uh, from Cameroon or it's it's, in, it's incredible. And and Shenek, sometimes we can see uh, where people are and when they when they access to our website, and and there are people from all over the world, and it's incredible because Macau is so small. And our newspaper is a small newspaper. For Macau, it's okay, but for comparing to, to, to the rest of the world, it's a small newspaper. And it's, it's amazing the, 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 the number of people that access the, newsp the newspaper and also receive by, by mail, they, they subscribe. But of course, this network we, we create uh, helps us a lot because we, we all, we, sometimes we send to, to them uh, they, they all receive the newspaper in PDF, but sometimes we also send to them in, in, in the printing edition. Um, and then they, they, they say they, they take copies, they, they make sheriff, they take copies to, to give to friends and, and, and the relatives. And it's, it's, it's incredible because then we, we start to receiving letters and emails from people all over the world saying, oh, we received the... I saw your, your newspaper was somewhere, and it's, it's, it's incredible, it's incredible. Also, also the, we design um, like uh, on faith, uh, uh, infographics and stuff like this, and a lot of times uh, people in Taiwan and in Singapore, and uh, I've been told, uh, and even in Hong Kong, they use this infographics for catechism to teach in schools and things like, like that, uh, they use a newspaper. The infographics yeah. is very important. That, that yeah. we, we make. There is, uh, other day, Harold Bruning from the, the Macau Post um, told me that once he went, he, he's from Germany, and then once he went to Germany, and then he went to a museum. It's a museum related to uh, press. And they have uh, newspapers from all over the world. And then he, he asked the lady, uh, he wants to see the Macau, the Macau newspapers, if they have Macau newspapers, and they they had only one newspaper. It, it was Clarín. It's 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 incredible, incredible. Yeah. That's why that's why I think uh, this network and uh, all, all this we are talking, what we are saying, this means we have f uh, freedom to to work in in our area uh, without limitations. Of course, a, as I told you. We always adapt. We we adjust the the way we we spread the content uh, according, of course. The, that's why if, if 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 we write something and we are talking about China, mainly in China, mainly, of course we focus more on social aspects. If we are sending to to the United States, we fo we focus more on political aspects, and they and they say thanks. For <laughs> that, that's 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 all. This we are talking about means um, that we have freedom to work, mm -hmm. and in in our area is not difficult because we we are very. Um, our goal is religion. Do you have to deal with many fake news and what kind of tools, if, it, if yes, you have to, what kind of tools you use to, to screen it and to avoid to publish those fake news? 
Um, these these um, media, uh, they um, all of them, as I told you, they they have their uh, room, uh, press rooms or delegations in at uh, OLC. So uh, that means they are uh, accurate and they are uh, serious and professional because. If, if they were not, they, they will not be allowed to, to work uh, in, in the OLC. So with this, this one, these sources are accurate and we, we don't... But then there are some sources. Um, for example, I, I mentioned Bitter Winter. This Bitter Winter, they are... Um, they start as a very... Um, um, they start in, in a way uh, uh, like they they were very uh, since, uh, since uh, how, how can I say they they write the things without um, seeing if if they if to what they were writing were correct or not. They just uh, uh, heard some. Uh, Informations, then they combine everything and they they create a history, and they they had lo lots of problems because of that. And now the people that are um, in front of this project, they change a lot. And nowadays we know that what they uh, publish are are, are more, is more real and is more accurate. And at the beginning, because in, in what happened is. Uh, what happened is, of course, everybody, no one is working to, 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 to lose money. Um, but in, in this area, there are not uh, rich media, okay? But no, no one wants to lose money. But there is some, uh, there is some comp competition between, between, between us, of course. And and for example, in Portugal, we, we had a, a TV, Angelus TV, TV Angelus. And uh, that project uh, ends already because they didn't, they didn't, got, they didn't get um, advertising to pay the, the production. And there, are, there, there, there were several uh, me Catholic media that were created and they, they, they closed because they, they didn't uh, get uh, funds and advertising and money to, to keep going. Um, and what happens when, when uh, a new media in this area get uh, religious uh, activity or religious media uh, appears? Of course, they, they want to, um, to show they, they, they exist and, and they want to, to, to get, uh, start to, to be known. But of course, uh, it's not easy. And sometimes for that, they try to give uh, news different news um, that makes people think they know more things than the others. And then when you do that, sometimes you, you don't do a, a serious uh, work. And this bitter winter, that happened. So they, they were very... Um, people... Because people start to, to think, maybe this is not correct, because they... They always come with news very bombastic, if you can say it like that. But nowadays, they change, they change uh, a lot, and nowadays we know their news are more, more precise. We are, I think we are still uh, conservative in dealing with that situation. For example, to verify a certain article, whether it is true or not. Or so. Normally, the, the, for me, the, the best tool will, will always be the, the human person, because sometimes the even the technology, these digital instruments can still add on to the fake news, or even uh, add uh, uh, problem to the already problem. For example, I have an article uh, submitted to me. It speaks about the oppression of the Christianity in Asia, and. Eight countries were uh, mentioned, that includes China, and it was detailed. And the, the detail is very, really, uh, very disturbing. So if we publish that, 
Poklarim will be in danger because they, they translate that also in, in, in Chinese. So I verify it. I uh, sent emails and uh, they told us it is not true actually. We did, they did not mention that eight countries and they did not even enumerate in detail the oppression made, made by China on the Catholic Church or in the Christianity. So the best tool, I believe, is still uh, the, the communication, verify it with the experts, and uh, uh, talk or, or contact the person who wrote the article if there is a dangerous part or area that needs to be verified. So I still believe that the, the, the communication and the human persons be the best tool to verify that. Yes, because sometimes <laughs> we, we, we know, we, we heard about when something happened. What, what I do is I go to CNA and it's not there. I go to Canção Nova, it's not there. I go to uh, Agência Eclésia, it's a Portuguese agency. Agência Eclésia is not there. Uh, Fides, but Fides, so so. <laughs> but I go to Fides, it's not there. If, if, so if we go to these agencies and these media and, and they, they are not... Uh, and the information is not there, is because it's, it's not true. Do you have any contact with Radio Renascença? Any kind of association, contact, whatever? That's, that's, something, that's something that <coughs> makes me very sad, because I contact the Canção Nova in Brazil, uh, and we, 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 we start to work together. We contact the EWTN in, in the United States, and we also start to work together, and uh, with the ACN Foundation also, and and they, they it's very it's very easy because I, I went to the I went to Brazil I, I contact them and we start to work uh, at the next day, and the W ten no the W ten I, I I knew the 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 people that work for for them in Rome. Then after we, we brought the channel to, to Macau, then, then I went to, to, to the States. And it's very easy because we, we, we are in the same uh, industry, I can say like that, and we, we talk the same, the same language. And, and, it's, and, and, and everyone wants to, to work in, to be part of a uh, network. And, and this is, Macau is the, the only chance they have to to, to get information from, from Macau, Hong Kong, and China. Because even in Hong Kong, in Hong Kong there are, there, in Hong Kong there are two newspapers that belong to the Hong Kong diocese. Uh, the, the Sunday Examiner and the Chinese one. I don't remember the name. And then they don't, they, they, they don't, they, they don't, they, they don't have this kind of network. So maybe will be us in Macau, that will invite the two newspapers in, uh, in Hong Kong, from the diocese, Hong Kong diocese, to integrate the network. That's incredible. But at least Macau leads something. Uh, it's not bad uh, at all. But um, I tried the same with uh, Renascença. I tried the same with Renascença. And they, 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 their answer was like, Oh, that's very difficult, and we don't. I don't know. We have to think. Yeah. Okay, so you think, and and we work. While you think, we work, and we and we we do. So it's it's for me, for me as a Portuguese, and this is Macau. Doesn't make <coughs> sense. Renascença is not in. Doesn't make part of of this network, but it's okay. That's not. We invite them to 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 integrate this network, but they they didn't. So. Not our fault. Yeah. And um, and the the, the, the Macau Cable TV, the Macau Cable TV is very funny because it's the only uh, cable uh, TV cable company in the world that charge to broadcast. Uh, channels in, in in the rest of the world, in the rest of the world, the 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 channels they the the TV companies they buy they 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 they, they pay 
to be broadcasted. They pay to be broadcasted. Uh, here in Macau, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. In the, in, the, in the rest of the world, the cable companies, the TV cable companies, they pay to broadcast the TV channels, okay? They pay to broadcast the TV channels. Here in Macau, is the only place in the world that the TV channels pay to be broadcasted, okay? It's like that. So, in Portugal, Mail, Nós, Vodafone, they, they pay to CNN, they pay to Fox, they pay to broadcast their channels. Here, their channels, they pay to be broadcasted by Macau Cable TV. And, and that, that to, that to, that's why when I, when I talk with them to broadcast, uh, because before, in this channel, uh, they, they broadcast the God TV belongs to, uh, to uh, I don't know, God TV belongs to, to, I don't know, to one of that, maybe Presbyterians or something, something like that, yeah. Um, evangelic, maybe even evangelic, maybe, maybe. And they, they, they what, what happened is, is they refused to, to, to pay and Macau Cable TV uh, suspend that channel. And, and I knew that. And, and then I, 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 I talked with them and I asked them if they want to replace God TV by WTN. And they say yes. And I was very happy. And, they, and I called to Manila because Manila is the headquarter for EWTN in Asia Pacific. He's in Manila. And I, I talked with uh, Edwin, uh, is the, the number one of EWTN in Asia Pacific. I called him, hey, hey uh, Edwin, we have a space. We have a space in in Macau Cable TV to broadcast the WTN Asia Pacific channel. Okay, Jose, so tell them we, we want that. And I went to, to Macau Cable TV, very happy, and they say, uh, we have, I have this channel to, okay, so the price is, is but the price, okay, but we don't have, we don't have money for that. And then I, I told Edwin, Edwin, they, they are charging to, to broadcast the, the, the channel. And then we say, no problem, Jose, you pray, I pray, and the money will, will, will appear. And then since, <laughs> since, <laughs> since uh, when, I, when I, I told you, since 2019, yes, since 2019, the money all, all, uh, always appeared, so. Let's pray. <laughs> All together. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Ma um, ma uh, Mother Angelica, she, Mother Angelica, she um, started in the garage. At the United States, all the big companies start in, in the garage. We have to move to a garage. <laughs> and, and Mother Angelica started with a radio in a garage. And then one day, she visited I think I think she she went to, to to the Vatican I think and then she visited the studios of the Vatican uh, TV uh, and then she said oh I also want a TV channel um, I have a radio channel now I want a TV channel and then he 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 went back to to the states and she said to to the other sisters hey sister we'll we'll have we'll establish a TV channel. The other says, thought Mother Angelica was, was, she became crazy, uh, I don't <laughs> know. And then she said, but how? Because radio is, is very, is, is not expensive. But TV, we need uh, antenna, a big antenna, we need all that. And Mother Angelica says, no, no, no problem. Uh, I will, I will, I will I'll, I'll get to all that stuff. And then she, she, she went to a, a, a supplier of that kind of equi equipment. She, she talked with, 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 with the, the sailor. And the sailor said, oh, sister, do you know how much is the antenna? It was like something like 300,000 300, 300, uh, US dollars on that time. And then she said, OK, no problem. You, you install the antenna, we install everything, we start working, then I, I pay. Then the, the guy went, went there and she, she, he installed everything and then they, they start to, to broadcast like a local TV to that people who lives nearby. And, and, the, and, the, and then the, 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 the seller to, told her, 
uh, mother, uh, mother Angelic, you have to pay me the first, the first payment will be in, in, in 90 days. And then every month I will charge you uh, amount. And then, okay, uh, no problem. Then one, one month, she was expecting the money comes from, 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 from the heaven. <coughs> Second month, nothing. On the, on the eighth, uh, uh, when, when after like what, two months and a half, um, it was 90 days, so we can say at the day 80 or 82 or 83, the sailor went there and said, Mother, you, you only have one week to, to pay me the, the antenna. Oh, no problem, I, I, I'll pay everything. When the guy went, went to the shop, the, the, the other sister said, Mother, we don't have one dollar to pay that. You only have one week. <laughs> we don't have, well, how will we pay $300,000? And then at the, at the at the the last day on the last day, day ninety. The the seller uh, called her and, and said, Mother Angelica, so do you pay today, or I or I have to to, to bring the antenna back to the, the shop. And Mother Angelica um, said, No problem. Uh, uh, until the end of the day, I will pay the, the antenna. And what, 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 what do you think she, she did? She, she went to the bank to ask for credit? No, she went, she went to the church and started to pray. And say, uh, God, uh, please help me. I have to pay the antenna until the end of the day. And when she was praying, another sister started to run and say, uh, Sister, 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 Angelica, Mother Angelica, come here, come here. Someone call, 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 is just calling you. And then Mother Angelica Say hello, who? Oh, Mother Angelica, I'm I'm someone. I'm a rich guy. I'm on my boat, and I just finished a book that you that you you wrote. You, you wrote. And you know, Mother Angelica, you already wrote three or four books, and I, I was very rich, and then I I start to to uh, consume drugs and alcohol, and and I, I almost lost my fortune. But then I read the first. I read the first book and I stopped to to take drugs. Then I read the second book and I stopped to to to, ta to drink alcohol. At the third book, I start to reinvest the money I still I still had, and I double or triple my 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 fortune. And now at the f uh, when I, I finished your fourth book and I realize I, I I didn't give you anything. So I will give you five hundred thousand dollars. Uh, for your for your congregation, and then this, and then they, they say, see sisters, if you pray, you get the money. <laughs> and at the end of the day, she paid the antenna, three hundred thousand uh, U.S. dollars. It's incredible for me. See, it's incredible. This, this is that kind of histories. Um, and and do you and do you and do you think we are we are on a mission? We are on a mission. That's that, that's it. Yeah, it's incredible, it's incredible, it's incredible. Yeah. Okay, friends. Any more reflections or contributions, or any more <coughs> questions that you would like to ask Jose Miguel? Yeah, because oh, uh, just to to finish, all, all these all these media they they start like Clarín. They start like Clarín, is a, a group of people that had a dream. They start to, to work w w without money, without uh, equipment, sources, mm -hmm. nothing. And they just, they just did it. And, and nowadays, um, they are worldwide. And we hope one day, but it's not so easy, <laughs> that Clarín can reach. But we are, we are, we are doing our, our job uh, yeah, until now with the help of our colleagues and we can we can can reach other markets other 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 people and uh, the most important thing is evangel evangelization yeah. it's the most important thing besides of of um, information uh, information formation and evangelization that's the three goals of our newspaper yeah thank you so much yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much
that ends our presentation this evening. Again, we would like to thank each one of you for coming. And let us pray for one another for our mission in the media.